them a fantastic day. Um, I am mega excited about having the legend on again. I'll mention his name in a moment. Most people will know because you'd have watched the first one. Uh, I have got a slight tech issue that my web camera does not want to start. Um, so I'm just trying to sort that out. It's always something. Um, so many people on, which is fantastic. Just give me a one so I know you can hear me. Just give me a big fat one so I know you can hear me. And I'll look in the questions to hear it coming through. One, thanks, Stuart. Uh, Sherry, how are you? Can't see it yet. I know my camera's decided. As usual, the GooTo webinar Goost is visiting us. Um, and as usual, it's got a tech issue. But um, it's not me that you come to see, really, is it? It's, it's um, let's face it, it's the legend that's coming on. Um, so, um, brilliant. All these ones. Yeah, Sherry, I'm fantastic. You can't see me at the minute. I'm going to work on that as we go through. Um, but this is very much, guys, I know normally when you jump on Google to webinar, um, you come on and you look at slides. That's not what this is going to be about. This is going to be about, I'm going to get on camera, Matt's going to be on camera. We're going to discuss the strategies with you, okay? So it's completely different to normal, guys. You're absolutely going to love this. Um, those of you that attended the first one we did, I absolutely loved it. So I know you guys must have loved it as well. The knowledge bombs that matt can drop um are absolutely massive all right so make sure guys as we go through this um ask tons of questions okay ask tons and tons of questions because that is how you're going to learn okay so um just let me know guys in the comments uh give me a two if this is the first time you watched it give me a three if is if this is your second time did i get that right yeah i think i did so if this is your first time watching this live give us a one uh give us a two even if this is your second time give us a three uh just so i know so matt when mac um jumps on we know who to speak to. we know whether to give you more knowledge we know whether to start over again from the beginning uh we know exactly oh there's a whole mix there a whole mix it's kind of even uh yeah it's kind of dead in the middle which is fantastic brilliant okay so for you guys now give me um brilliant second time so loads of people um first time loads of people second time brilliant sherry you're gonna absolutely love this um so guys what we're gonna do is i'm simply gonna bring matt on he's gonna drop some knowledge bombs he's gonna share with you some of his um killer techniques um, make sure you've got a notepad ready. Yes, it is live, Jay, uh, Jason. Uh, the reason we do these live, guys, okay, the reason we do these lives is so you can get more value out of these, okay? Because if you watch the first one, I know a few of you have watched the first time we went live, and, you know, you it may have created more questions. You've got a chance to ask them and get more, more out of this, um, which we're now going to do, get out of this live again, okay? Um, Brilliant. So I see questions coming through already. So I think Matt is with us. So I want to give uh, him a big welcome if he is. Let me just have a look. See if he's here. Um, we've got tech issues. I can't play my camera, which is typical go to webinar style. I'm just waiting for Matt um, as well, guys. So let me know in the comments if you know. There he is. I can see it. Uh, Mike, how are you? My camera's not working. <laughs> and that sound isn't working. Uh, so, guys, let me know in the comments below if you um, if you know Matt, if you followed some of his stuff. Um, I actually went to Matt's event. Uh, the first time I kind of heard about Matt was three years ago in 2017, November 2017. Uh, once went to one of Matt's events and absolutely blew me away. Um, so let me know in the comments if you've followed any of Matt's stuff before you know who he is. Um, if not, I'll get Matt to give you an introduction. At the minute, I'm, I'm not. Uh, we have Matt in vision. Yeah, they, we can see Matt. I think he's just putting his jumper on. I am. Oh, there you go. Same to come through. <laughs> awesome. New hair. You're going to love this. I can't see your name. Is it? Matt, how are you, mate? 
I'm doing good, doing good. It's early o'clock here, I guess, on a Saturday. So, <laughs> yeah, but, mate. Thanks ever so much I, I, for coming on live again. But I know it's it's all about giving the guy like I know how good you are, and I want to share that with the guys that haven't. You know, some people here may not have heard of you. I'm sure most of most of the guys would have heard of you. Um, so it'd be good for you just to tell the guys a bit about it. It feels weird me, but not being on camera. And once you do that, I'm gonna try and jump on camera. Yeah, Brilliant. there is something weird uh, on your side. Yeah, maybe not. You presenter has control. Uh, I guess it's it's grayed out. Yeah, that's kind of weird. It's not connected or something. Um, so a little bit about me. Um, well, <laughs> I've been marketing online. This, I mean, <laughs> I only say this because this is from 2010. This is from you know 2008. I won this back in 2010. Um, and I this is a thing. Actually, I wish. It, uh, but I've been marketing online since 1999. Um, I've been email marketing since 19, I mean, sorry, I've been email marketing since 1999. I've been online marketing um, since 1997, actually. Um, so I've been doing it for a long time. There comes Wayne, I, or kind of Wayne. I see him a little, see something the Klingon, pop up. It's the Klingon sing, uh, signal, <laughs> calling in the, uh, the starships. <laughs> <laughs> But um, just, to, just to be clear, I made my first million in 2003, and I've been email marketing um, ever since. I made my first million as an email marketer. Um, I had a list of 10,000 people, turned it into a million dollars in less than six months. Um, and then after that, I started going on and building multi-million dollar companies, and not just you know one or two or three. I had one company did 20 million in a year, one other company do 3 million, another company do uh, three, one, another one did 1 1.6 that same year. But the, all the core of every single business that I've ever built has always been one thing and is email marketing because we just, I, did, I knew early on that, um, that the key was to have that list. And I used to sell cassette tapes. I used to sell VHS tapes. I used to sell, um, if anybody remembers what they are, but I used to sell that stuff. I used to have a closet full of crap and nobody to sell to. And I realized this is a problem. This is a big problem. We have a bunch of things and nobody to sell to. And I... I, I ran into a billionaire and this billionaire said to me, actually, I was at an event. Um, this was probably 2001, 2002. And I was at an event and I was walking through and everybody's like, oh, my God, there's a, there's a billionaire. And there, I was like, uh, and I was, you know, early 20s. So I was just like, OK. And then I walked over to the guy and said, you know, everybody's like trying to stay away from him. I just walked over to him and I said, hey. I said, I hear you're a billionaire. <laughs> and the guy just looks at me really weird. And uh, I said, I said, you know, I said, I just got one question. And he's like, okay, go ahead. And I said, uh, what's the secret? And he said this to me. He said, if you want to make a decent income, then you sell products or services. But if you want to become insanely rich, you create and control markets. Now, email marketing was in its infancy at the time. And I was like, you know, and, I, and it took me a while to hear what he said. And after about a day or two, it finally hit me. I need to start building a list. I need to start building. I've got this closet full of crap and I got nobody to sell to. I need to reverse this. I need to put myself in a position where I have more people and nobody to sell to because I can always go find something to sell. And so um, that, that, that day really changed everything. That's where I, really six months later, I went on a, a million dollar run. And I made my first million and then I started building companies in multiple different niches ever since. And um, so, it was a big distinction for me, but the big big thing is that marketing online have been more, tons of niches, tons of markets, tons of um, you know I've been in the real estate market, the tax market, the stock market, a uh, stock niche. I've been in the uh, tax stock. It, I even had um, I, I I'm in the tree. I actually, we buy and sell trees. Um, we do a lot of stuff. I'm in forestry. Um, you know, but it's all because of email. It all it all comes because of lists and it all comes of all that. And so. Um, just to share with everybody, it's like that's kind of a little bit of my background, I guess you'd say. <laughs> yeah, they, I know there's so much more, mate, because you, as the guys will see, the the knowledge and experience you bring is just insane. And you can teach pretty, there's not many people you, you can't teach things to because I learn from you all the time. Um, and it's funny because my 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 background was fairly similar. I was in e-commerce. Oh. Um, and I had the exact same thing. Every time I sent an email, I, I made money. And you kind of think, hang on a minute, why am I, I had a big warehouse, I had a quarter million to half a million of stock on the shelves, all this stuff. And I think, why have I got all this when I can just hit send on an email? It's kind of a, a similar sort of thing. Um, 
So we're gonna we're gonna pick your brains a bit. So guys, ask any questions. If you've got questions, ask them. Matt. We'll answer if you were on the first one, guys. You're gonna get tons more value out of this one. So Matt, tell us um what is the big thing new people get wrong? Because a lot of people come in, they send an email and they're like, Well, I didn't make a sale or I didn't get any opens or I didn't get any clicks. And um, what is the big thing that new newer people? Because the people in the crowd, let me know, guys, if you've got a list, you started list building, just so what we can kind of see. Where is there any way? Of... Yeah. Well, before you ask that, is there any way you could change me to become a uh, organizer so I could actually see? I can't see any I questions. Can't see anybody oh, okay. Uh, yes. Looks like there is. Yes, that like you should be able to see it now, mate. Yeah, because I'd love to see what what people are saying. What people are saying and stuff. Some people uh, saying your trophies look like Oscars. <laughs> yeah, they pretty much are. Uh, <laughs> Okay, you can see Wayne. Okay, so 400 we've got here. Okay, you can see now. Just any ideas? So, so let me just say this. It doesn't matter. I've worked. I, I, I don't. You guys know this. Here's one thing about me. You probably don't know. Um, I've, I have helped over half a million people make money, um, through email marketing. So, um, you know, I know this game pretty well. Um, and I've made millions upon millions of dollars a year ever since 2003. So. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. So, okay. So, so there's a, it seems like there's a bunch of new people on here. Um, let me just tell you a couple of things. First of all, we under, need to understand the law law of small numbers, right? So here's the big thing. Here's the big thing I tell a lot of people. A lot of people think that uh, I build a list of 100 people, I build a list of 200 people, I build a list of 300 people, and I'm going to start making money online. The 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 they, that that is too small of a data set for you to really make reliable dependable income um you know the the number i always tell everybody that the the key numbers really get to is one one thousand i mean once you get to one thousand we can start figuring out stuff it's still it's still too like a small it's a small data set but it's big enough for us to be able to see things that are more true um you know there's ten thousand once you get to ten thousand subscribers you know if we get to ten thousand subscribers you know, you have a lot more, you're going to be more consistent. And when you're pushing send, you're going to know your numbers, know things happen. And a lot of people that you may or may be following online have a list of a little less than 100,000 or 100,000. And, you know, those are the ones that are making good money and good everything. But here's the, here's the thing I want to tell everybody. Just, we all talk about lists and the size of lists and everything else. And if you ask me, oh God, I, uh, um, I've been spent half my life doing this. So what I'm telling, I've spent half my life. It's really crazy. I am now 43 as of two days ago. <laughs> I think it was two days ago. Um, but I literally started half of my life ago um, in my dorm room in college. <laughs> so, um, but I say this because here's the thing is people, if you asked me 10 years ago, if you asked me 15 years ago, and maybe if you asked me five years ago, hey, what's the biggest asset in your company? my answer would have been my list. Today, if you ask me that question, that is not the answer I would give you. The answer I would give you is attention. We are we have moved from, an, when I started marketing online, we were in the information you know, economy where it was all about information, getting the information out there. It was all about you know, you know, the information. Today, we are in the attention economy. We've got to get the attention of people. And if we do not get somebody's attention, what good is it? That's why some of you, when you come in, you have, you know, you, you have this list of hundred people and you're like, man, nobody's really opened up. You, you don't have a big enough data set or a different enough group of people to truly get their attention. There's things that could get in your way of, of making that happen. So, and can you, yes. And now if you had a list of a hundred buyers, hundred buyers all day long, it's going to over overtake, you know, a hundred subscribers. But, but the point is, is, I want to make is we're in the attention economy. We've got to get people's attention. When I first started marketing online, it was pretty different. You know, the world was you had a list. And hell, it didn't matter how you buy it or build it, uh, how you build it, uh, because we were able. That was before the Can Spam Act. That was before all these rules and all this other stuff. So we were able to do things that we, we well, we were able to do things that we can't do today. And, and, and I say that because when I sent out an email a long time ago, I mean, that thing would last for days. I sent an email today for three years or three months, or three, I'm sorry, three, three days. Um, you know, that email would just go and it would keep on making money for three days. Today, 
the attention because of the the attention spans everybody's fighting for everybody's attention we don't have that long we don't have three days anymore so we got to do whatever it takes you know because you still money there's so much more money now in the marketplace than there ever was there's so many more people online now there's so many more people with email addresses um you know we but we have to do whatever it takes to get their attention to get their right attention get them right in the right mode to buy whatever we're going to have and that's all you know that's one of the reasons why i'm really well known for one thing well i kind of say well known i i, I nobody knows because i don't do it but let me give you an example i do something every single day that moves the needle and it's this i test these are my tests these are this is i ran out of paper um and each page right here you'll see if i actually just show you each page right here every highlighted one that's a test that's a test this is a test set test set test set test set test test set test set test set each one of these are different split tests that i've done and there's i mean and i'm probably not picking up the whole stack uh, right here but the point is is i know the one thing the one key is i've got to get their attention i got to get their attention quickly and i've got to get them to take action quickly on things but here's the bigger thing it, the whole list and i tell people this all the time the best list that you have outside, like we could build a list of buyers and they're gonna be the, one of the best lists you can build. The other net list you have, you could build is however you build it, have them go to your opt-in page, have them sign up. But the best list you can have in that, that scenario is a list of clickers. Clicks are the key to winning the game of it because there's one word that matter, one metric that matters the most. And that metric is EPC, earnings per click. And you've got to put your attention, you've got to focus on earnings per click if you want to win the game of email marketing because it really comes down to this what i would call it my this formula and you guys while you're sitting here you want to write this down it's this formula that i that actually it's right over there and it's right over here my thing it's that important to me it is s and write this down s and actually i'll, I'll grab a pen and i'll grab a marker and i'll write it down i forgot i was at the office i was going to be at the, in my library so i drove over here in my golf cart <laughs> because it's the fastest way to get here i wayne when i wrote you i was still at the house so it takes me five minutes and 15 seconds to get from my house to my thing on a golf cart on a on a in a car it would have took me 15 minutes so i, I had to open up the garage door pray to god I didn't wake anybody up um so it's s is the first key of the puzzle which is subscribers you guys are saying that you have it number two is this is the next one that i'll put on here so just put s plus and the next one is c c stands for clicks this is going to be your key to making this happen now the next the next thing is this s plus c and the third thing is e now s plus c plus e if you remember this you're going to win the game of email marketing and i'll tell you what these are e all but be before i do let me just add one little piece or one little element element on here and it is a money sign because all of this will equal money the s the S stands for subscribers. You've got to get subscribers to make things happen. Then the, the S, the only way, the only way we can get to the next thing is we got to have the first thing. So S plus C is clicks. Clicks. Clicks are going to be the key to making you money. If nobody clicks, nobody, you're not going to make any money. And then the next thing you need to have in the whole sequence is E, EPC, earnings per click. These three things are the key to making money. You got to get subscribers, send email. Oops, sorry, my finger. I'm looking at it. So you got to get subscribers. Subscribers are going to get you to, so you can send emails out so you can get clicks. And then you go, you send emails to offers or things that are going to make you money, you know, which is EPC. EPC is the number one most important equation. I'm sorry, metric when it comes to email marketing, which is earnings per click. How much money are you making per click? This, if you look at this, and if you and notice, this is what I always re usually refer to people as the box of profits when it comes to email marketing. If I put a box around it, this is where you want to play. If you do anything outside this, it's just a bunch of squirrels. And that's all it is, is a bunch of squirrels. And one thing I learned about squirrels is they're faster than you, so don't chase them. You know, so this would be opens. Those are squirrels. You know, squirrels. Opens are for egos. Clicks are for cash. Opens are for egos. Clicks are for cash. So, so you want to focus on getting subscribers, subs. You want to focus on getting clicks. You want to focus on finding uh, APC offers, APC offers, um, you know, APC offers. And the metric we want to focus on, everybody should focus on, is earnings per click. In fact, I was looking around and I was trying to find it. I actually, uh, I guess I didn't, I need to clean. Oh, here it is. Look, let me tell you how important this is. I don't know, Wayne, you know about this. So I care about EPC so much 
that on the back of my truck, I had this license plate, <laughs> EPC Boss. Now you can see it says December, and I just got a new. I decided I wanted to change this out so I can have this as a prop now. <laughs> so I paid for another. It's called a vanity plate. I paid for them to give me a special plate, and I asked for EPC. I wanted EPC uh, Boss uh, because, in the sense, it's where I focus on. So, but my point is, and, and Wayne and I both know the metric that matters the most is earnings per click, and in that metric is the word clicks is not the click the word subscribers so is not the word opens it's all about getting the click and so you know if you don't get a click that what that is and here's the thing here's the thing to really think about if you don't get the click you don't have their ultimate attention if you get them to open you do have their attention but it could be the wrong attention we want to get the right attention and the attention we want to get it to is so to focus on Whatever this one thing is that we're sending them to, I mean, when we get the click, we want to get the best guess. You know, we want to get the right attention so we can actually make more money. And so, I've never really said it that way, but I mean, it's so important and it's so big. I mean, it's so important to me is focusing on getting that because everybody gets mixed up. If you're sending out an email with a hundred subscribers and you get, you know, uh, eighty clicks, well, you might be really good. But if you're getting one click, you know, you're, you're not going to be able to make much money. And so we've got to focus on building a list of clickers um, and, and getting people to click and getting them trained to do that to to click is going to be the key to really making a lot of money uh, from email marketing. That was awesome, Matt. Guys, I know um, for some people that may have been that was a ton of information there, Matt. So that was awesome. Guys, if you. If you're not aware of any of the terms, we've got people of all different levels on it. Let us know. EPC, um, everyone needs to ingrain that into their brain. I think who, well, that was you that invented that term, wasn't it, Matt? <laughs> I wish. I mean, I can. Is that the legend? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, hell, uh, no. I, I made it popular. Um, yeah. I, I, I will say this. I was well. I own the East EPC Institute. I mean, hell, I've been screaming EPC for ages. When we first started, when we, when the internet first started, was in. It, when email marketing was in the infancy, is the best way to say it. Um, there was nobody, everybody was focusing on this. They were, oh, I got a bigger list. I got a bigger list. And everybody was, it was kind of like, who's got the bigger list? Is who's got, you know, and then it came to the point where people started coming to the realization that just having a bigger list doesn't mean anything. You know, it just is, a, it'll attract people. I mean, hell, I had a list of 1.2 million people, but the people don't know the truth is behind the scenes, I had another list of 100,000 people that would crush the 1.2 million in seconds. You know, I mean, in fact, I have a I have a list of 10,000 people that would crush my 100,000 people in seconds. So, um, you know, it comes down to not quantity; it comes down to quality and getting a quality list and building a quality list to make things happen from there. Awesome. So, ask the questions, guys. We can clear it up. So, we talked. To, you talked to about split testing. Um, and moving the needle, so and getting the most clicks. What is the thing? Um, can we run through for the guys? I I don't know if the questions are coming through or if there's a. They are. It says somebody just said that. I mean, I'm seeing them. Um, no, I'm I'm not seeing them. Go to webinar. So buggy. Yeah, you know why? It's uh, it's because of all these kids. <laughs> it's not. They've added in a lot more features since COVID hit, and uh, the reason is because stu teachers have been putting on. Uh, doing things and then kids and then people are bored. So they've been hacking into Zoom and, and go to webinar and they're messing with the teachers, but they're actually not the kids that are in the class. It's YouTubers started a lot of that crap and a lot of other people and they're messing with the teachers. So they're trying to create all these new little things that are creating problems for all of for, for us that are it actually. Like it, yeah. <laughs> it looks like. So, um, yeah, talk, let's talk about moving the needle um, and split testing um, so the guys can understand like. Because that's the thing I that's the thing I learned from you back in November 2017. Because yeah, um, so let's talk about that. And guys, ask the question. If we go through terms, I know some people are kind of maybe got a list of 100 or 1,000. Um, so ask the questions. I'll keep an eye and I'll answer them if Matt doesn't see them. Yeah, I, I see them. Um, so just to just to be so, it was probably 2000. Five, um, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so I made my first million. I started, um, and then I met a guy, right? I met this guy that was, we, I used to call him the testing freak. 
Um, interesting enough, I know him today and he's not testing like he was then, but he, he came in my office and he specialized in, in testing. And he started testing different variations, meaning he would take one, he was taking websites and he would test one page versus another page versus another page. And we, I was doing a launch. So he was in my office. He came in for, he just flew in for a few days to sit there and to test when I had all this traffic coming in on a launch. And I was launching a new product. And um, he said, and I started seeing the difference that, you know, like this one page had a three, a 7% conversion rate. Another page had a 16% conversion rate. And I started thinking about how much money I lost over the years because I wasn't testing. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, so I started thinking about it. And I was like, imagine how much more money I made. Now we brought in um, roughly around that time, we brought in um, 21,000 people at $30 a month. <laughs> so, so on a continuity program. And I thought to myself, if we would have went with the original one that was converting at like six or 7%, and we ended up with the one that was converting at 16%, you know, how much money do, would I have lost if I did not, did we, if we did not test? And so what testing is kind of, there's called a thing called A-B testing where you take A and B and you test against it. Many times you do that with websites. But with email marketing, um, then with email marketing, and that's really the big aha moment for me was like, holy crap, if I would just test my emails, how much more money could I make? And so what I started doing is I started taking you know, one or two because I was a little lazy and I started taking, you know, two different subjects. So I would take two different emails and then test those against each other and see what, see which one worked. And then I started seeing a bump in the amount of money I was making because I was using the, the winner to my whole list. And so I would take, um, you know, I would do that. And then I started thinking, okay, um, what is the thing out of all the tests I've done? What is the one thing that's really moving the needle? That's really making the most money is not the email. It's actually the subject line. And I was like, huh, that's interesting. And, and, I, and I started thinking about it because a lot of my friends are some of the biggest copywriters in the world. Um, I say that now because um, one of them actually passed away, which was Ted Nicholas. Um, and so Ted Nicholas, people call him the billion dollar man. He was one of my mentors. And, you know, Dan Kennedy, I was talking to Dan. And it's like, what is the one thing on a website that you want to test? And they're like, um, the headline, test the headline. It's going to make the biggest move. And I was like, huh, okay. So then I started thinking about an email and I said, what is the headline of the email? It's the subject line. The subject line is the headline of the email. So if it's the one thing on a page that's gonna move the needle, it's probably gonna be the one thing on, a, on an email that's gonna move the needle. And, by, and long and behold, it was true. And so I want you to think about this. Your subject line is a headline. That's all it really is, it's a headline. Um, your, your title in a blog post is a headline. That's what it really is. The headline on a website is a headline. Those are the big needle movers on the pages that you can use. If you hit a good one, you're gonna do great. If you hit a bad one, you're gonna do bad. Or you could test and find out which wins and use the winner, you know, from, we use the winner to be the one that you're gonna use. And so that's exactly what started happening. And I went from two to three, and then I was like, okay, you know, I wanna test an odd, so I have an odd variation. Then I started noticing radical differences in the three. And then I said, you know what? What if I tested more? <laughs> and I started, I, I kind of, now what I do is I, I always, and actually, if you see every one of these tests here, it's five, 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 five. There's eight tests on this page of five. You look at this one right here, there's five, five, five. You look at this page right here, there's five, five, five. Every one of these are five different variations. So then I started saying, okay, testing five. And what I was doing, and I was like, how can I keep on moving the needle even more? And the way that I did that was I noticed that if I had something similar, similar subject lines, um, this is a good example. Actually, I got a really good example right here. If you could see, see that one that says big news, uh, maybe you could see it, but they all say big news, but what you don't see is it's all caps, it's all, it's, it's capitalized and then capitalized, then it's all caps on the big and, and higher, uppercase on the, the end, and then it's lowercase on the big and then uppercase. When I do little, those are, those are, to me, that was more of an optimization strategy more than it was a testing strategy. And what I found is when I had slight variations, of different subject lines that I was testing, I would get slight variations of results. But if I had radicals, um, oh my God, this is from 2003. So here's here's one right here, I'll just show you. So if you look right here, um, you barely could probably see it. So this is 2003, I think I did this with Nick James actually. Um, yeah, in, in London. And so you can see, look at these, they're all radically different. 
That's, a, that's what I would consider a radically different variation. Well, with radically different variations, I'm going to get radically different results. And what, I mean, I'm talking radically different results. And so that what I found is even when I was split testing web pages, if I took one really ugly page and one really pretty page or, or one long sales letter and one short sales letter, it's going to give me radically different results. And that's exactly what I started doing with my subject lines is testing radically different variation. I mean, radically different variations of five radicals. And I was getting the biggest impact, the biggest data that I ever needed to be able to really make more money. And just by split testing and doing the things that I just said, now I'm doubling the amount of money I would make every single day if I just grabbed a subject line and pushed that. Doubling the amount of money just by you know testing and making things work. Awesome. I'm just going to go to everyone and make sure that makes sense because we've got a question. What's a good tip to increase clicks? This is basically what you just got fits for you is um, the biggest way is by split testing the subject lines. OK, not yeah. just that you're going to get more opens, um, but also you can uh, get more clicks as well. So you might think you get double the amount of opens, you'd get double the amount of clicks, but a good subject line, you can get double the amount of opens. You can actually get three times the amount of clicks. You can actually double EPC as, as well, because that is the importance at the end of the day, split testing the headline and uh, not yeah, just about. Well, let's clicks. just let's just give them a good example. I'm going to make a arbit uh, an, an example. It's not real, but uh, I'll give you a real. I'll give you an example. So there's a person out there in the marketplace that'll tell you the best subject line you could ever send is called is the word dude. And so you can send a subject line, say, dude, you know, but that's going to get you tons of opens. But if you send an email to everybody and say, hey, and the subject line says, dude, you're going to get women pissed off. You're going to get men that they're like, look, I'm not from California, so I'm not a dude. You know, you're going to get all these, you know, I'm not from the 60s. You know, you're going to get a lot of weird stuff because that subject line didn't create a buyer intent or create create the intent for them to actually go to the next page. You know, if you send it, you can send another subject line called, hey, you know, everybody's going to open up the subject line, hey. You know, because it's like you think you're actually writing. If I wrote email, a subject line to, to, to Wayne or a friend or anybody, I'm going to use probably the subject line, hey. So if I send it out to my list, yes, I'm going to get tons of opens. But am I going to get, and think about the intent, they're going to say, or what they're going to say when they read it, hey, what? And then when they say, hey, what? Because they're like, hey, what? And they open it up, they look at it, and then you're trying to pitch them on something. They're like, what the hell? You know, like, I, I thought this was a personal email. So you're going to kind of set them set the tone wrong. if you if you send an email that says, I bought this, and you show them like, hey, I was on this web page, I thought it was, it was awesome, I bought it, here's my receipt, I think it's actually uh, really amazing, and I think you should buy, it. I was thinking of you when I got it, because when I read something in, on page three of this thing, I mean, it blew my mind, I think you should get it too. I mean, boom, you're gonna see, even though you're not gonna have as high clicks, you're gonna have, I mean, sorry, high, high opens, you're gonna have tons more clicks, and the, it's gonna set the tone properly, for the email to actually get people to take action and you're going to see an increase in buys. If I sent another subject line that said, um, buy this, think about the tone, buy what? That's what the question they're going to say. Now they open it up, it set the tone properly, you tell them what you want them to buy, they're going to go to the page. You send another subject line is XYZ is live, you know, 7,000, you know, whatever is live. You're like, oh, it's live. Okay, but I, you told me what the product name is. Great. I know it's a product. I know you're probably going to pitch me because it's, it's live. So I'm going to open it up. It tells you it's live. It gives you a little more you know, description about what it's going to be. Boom. I'm going to click on the link and go. Just by setting the subject line can set the tone of how people are going to respond. Are they going to respond by unsubscribing? That's what will happen on the hey and the dude. You know, they might open it, but they're going to go straight down, look for that link, and get the hell off your list. Or, the, you know, <laughs> so or if they say I bought this, you know what they're going to do? They're going to say I, you bought what? Learn a little bit about it. Boom. Click the link. Go find out more, you know, so it's going to change the tone and change the 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 set set up the, the, the you know, the tone of the email to get them to click even more. Yeah, awesome. That was an excellent explanation. Um, there was a question there, which I think is a good question. We'll just answer that. Uh, what's a good amount of split test? We kind of covered that, but it'd be good just to uh, go through this. Yeah, let me test. answer this to a lot of people. So here's here is the it's kind of the chicken and the egg, right? It, we really come down to the chicken and egg kind of scenario, like when should you start split testing if it's really going to be the thing that moves the needle? Um, I will tell you this. Here's here is we got to understand. I, I started off saying the law of large numbers. Um, one, I will tell you if you have a data set that's that's well, even if you have if you have a data set or what do I say data set, um, 
when you have subscribers less than 2,000 subscribers, um, it's kind of going to be kind of hard for you to get real numbers. Um, meaning because I test one at the minimum I will test is 1,000 per subs per subject line, another another thousand per subject line. Um, if anything lower than a thousand per um, subject line, it's only going to be a good guess rather than it's going to be a more truer thing. Now, for me today, I'm split testing at least 10,000. So each one of those, I'm split testing 50,000 people, 10,000 here, 10,000 here, 10,000 here, 10,000 here, 10,000 here. I'm getting more qualified data uh, based on that. But the minimum is 1,000. So when you get to about 2,000 people, you could really start implementing it. Can you do it smaller and smaller sets? The answer is yes. But the purpose I would ever tell anybody to do it is because it would create the habit more than I would tell anybody because it's gonna you're you're gonna get better than a guess, but you're not gonna have the true definite answer. Um, you know, so if you but if you're gonna do it, it's you want to the smallest number, the truest smallest number um, is 100, 100, one, you know, want to have 100 per per email, 100, 100. Anything lower than 100 is way too small for it to give any data that's even true. So um, and so. I'm saying it a hundred and before you get to a thousand, it's better than a guess, right? Um, so um, I just wanted to bring that up. And so if you're thinking about it, I do like to test, um, you know, not only the ra um, radicals, I only like to, I like to test bigger data sets of, of information, you know, uh, people on a bunch of people. But the other thing is, is um, I like to, I personally like to do in odds. That's why I'm using the three right here, um, but in odds. So, I will try to my best. If I had 300 people, I would rather test on 300 people, 100, 100, 100, because for some reason, one against two, I found whenever I'm using like odds, three, five, that's why I do five, but three would be the one that I would try to do. So if I had a list of 300 from here, but here's the, here's the better thing, just so you know, especially if you're starting out or even if you're not starting out, you always want to play with winners. So the better, what's better than a guess and better than this is if you can get your hands on winners. And I, I'm telling you, I do this all the time. I, I actually, I, I, there's a, there, well, there's a handful of people I know. They don't test, but their stuff is usually the subject lines are usually winners. So I know for a fact they're not testing. Everybody says they test, they don't. Um, you know, but I really, I've seen it behind the scenes. Like what comes out of people's mouths and what people actually do are two radically different things. We haven't figured that out yet um, in life, especially in the market. Um, so there are a lot of people like I test and then I go and test against their stuff and I crush them. Um, so what I do is I will either look outside the industry where I know people are testing. Um, I spent a lot of time and energy this year spending um, uh, focusing on watching what uh, Trump was doing and watch what Biden was doing. And I'm not trying to get into politics here, but I am going to tell you this Obama, when Obama ran his campaign, um, back in when he was in office in the United States, uh, when he came president of the United States, I don't know if you know this, but he had 20 people on his team, that 20 people on his team, they were dedicated to email and all they did was test. They tested, tested, tested. So, and they raised over $580 million through testing. And so since I knew that, and I, and I know how they tested and I know what they did because I was able to pick apart the brain of the person running the campaign. Um, but because I, I knew that they were, there was a, like one of the first times it was like, holy crap, there's other testers out there like me. And so I say that because I knew that Trump wasn't going to be dumb in his campaign with his email side of things. And I also knew that Biden wasn't going to be dumb because I'm pretty sure that Obama would have gave Obama, Biden his team. And since I knew that, I paid attention to what they're doing. And here's the trick to paying attention to other people. The trick to paying attention to other people and finding out what winners are. Now, it it's kind of the trick. It's 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 a better it's better than anything else. But if you see a subject line being mailed from somebody more than three times, that is something that probably won. No mark smart marketers ever going to send the same subject line and you know out more than more than once unless it worked the first time. They're not going to send it a second time. Then, by God, they're not going to send it a third. At least they shouldn't, unless they're idiots, you know. And I'm going to tell you, they're idiots out there. So they could be doing it just because they're too damn lazy to go find something that works. But my point is, so when I saw Biden, when I saw uh, Trump 
testing, uh, doing, you know, um, you know, I saw, oh my God, like I just saw, I was like, cause I, I kind of remember and I put him in a little thing and I was looking and I was like, oh my God, he did that five times. I'm going to go test. I'm going to go test against it and see if it won. There was a little spurt for a couple of months that I couldn't beat. Actually, I tell you, I was beating Biden all day long. I couldn't beat Trump. I was just like, I remember you can ask my wife. I was like, I, I can't beat Trump today. I'm so pissed. I was like, next day, I was like, my goal is to beat Trump. You know, like I just wanted to beat him. And then after it got, actually, it's interesting. After it got closer to the election, I was able to start finally beating him. Uh, but early on, uh, the Trump stuff that I was I was testing against, I couldn't beat him. And I was getting pissed every day. I was really, I mean, I was, I, it's, it's because it's a game to me. It wasn't, I was really mad, but I was just like, ah! like I, this is, a, it was the first time in the history of, of me testing that I could, I mean, I'll, I'm not going to name names because I don't want to hurt my friend's feelings, but I test everybody. I mean, Wayne, I even tested your stuff. I, I If I see something that gets my attention, that's going to be like related to the email that I'm about to send out. I mean, because I might take, I'm going to test against it. And so I will test against it and I will find the ultimate winner. And, you know, you might win one time, but you're not going to beat me twice. Typically, that is that up until Trump, nobody's been able to beat me twice. There's never in the history of doing it. I might find somebody, but if I find somebody that wins the first time, I'm going to put my eye on them. I'm going to keep them in view because I'm like, well, they've got a, this magical, you know, writing style or they must be tapped into something that I need to get my hands on. So I'm always testing against winners. You know, I do not, and I'm testing against winners and then I keep my losers, I keep my winners and I make it, I mean, I was just looking before we got here. I, well, while we were, we were, you were getting your thing on, I, I popped up a thing and it showed me all my winners because I like to use winners. You know, like I don't like to start with losers or question marks. If you start with losers, guess what? You multiply a loser by a loser, you're going to get another loser. If you multiply a question mark by a question mark, you're going to get another question mark. All right. So the point is, I like to start with winners, because if I'm testing winners against winners, I'm going to find the ultimate winner, the champion that I'm going to be able to use and really crush it when I'm when I'm sending emails. Yeah, that's awesome, mate. So, guys, the big thing and I want I want to see loads of yeses here. Can you see the importance of split testing? You, by now, you must see the importance uh, of split testing. Give me some comments. There's a bit of a lag because we want to. Uh, not the normal go to webinars, so there's like a 20 second lag. I don't know if it's, it's kind of weird, but give me a comment. Um, say yes, I see the importance. Say yeah, I get it because it's really important. This is the big thing you can learn from this, okay? Um, from this uh training is exactly that, and this is exactly what you should be doing, okay? You need to go away and split test your subject lines. That is the big thing. Now, let's talk quickly, Matt and guys um about why people don't split test well let me just let me just uh, before we get into why people don't split test let me just address something to a person that said something that they hate that person very much let me just say this in the game of business in the game of marketing you need to remove all emotion mm -hmm. you need to remove all emotion and get out of your own way if you let your emotions take over when you're looking at winners, whether you love somebody or whether you hate somebody, because of those two, I love one and I hate the other. I'm the same way, but I don't let that get in my way of my success. If I, if I know somebody that is testing and I know somebody that's making a shit ton of money with what they're doing, now they're raising a lot of money. If I, and I will tell you this, there's, there, there's groups that I pay attention to. And they in there, I know that these groups actually do a lot more testing. They're outside of the market. Uh, I don't like what they believe. I don't stand for what they believe, but I actually pay attention to them because I know the one thing they're testing and it's going to move the needle for me. I look at them for what they're, they're there for and what their purpose is in my life. And so I say that to everybody, if you want to win at the game of email marketing, and here's the other reason, because there might be a winning t a winning winning headline, a winning subject line that you will find and you you will have to make a decision. Do you trust the numbers or do you go with what you want it to be? Do you trust the numbers or do you want to go with what you want it to be? I have to make that decision sometimes. Yesterday was, yesterday is the prime example. Yesterday is the prime example. Uh, my subject line yesterday, I had five writing variations, but I'll tell you where I was stuck. I had a close, close winner. One um, happy New Year's was a winner. Well, it wasn't the winner. It wasn't the winner. 
it was underneath it was really close to another one that i had which was get seven thousand nine hundred seven, whatever the the number was split tested or proven to work or something like that i wanted to send happy new year because it was the new year i wanted to send it but the data said if i send this one i will make more money and i went with the one that would make me more money i will tell you if you want to make more money remove all emotion remove everything from your anything and just say i need to follow the data i need to follow the data if i want to move the needle the data is going to tell me we got to erase all emotion whatsoever so um you know from there so all right yeah, cool that's exactly that and you'll see that so many times guys where things get in the way your own thoughts and feelings get in the way or this is something you become very over time you become very used to doing is relying on the data that shown in front of well it. My, my bigger example and in, in, in you know just so you know i didn't say your name or because there's actually more people that said the same thing so just so you know it wasn't just you <laughs> i wasn't just talking to you so please don't please don't get emotional over that one <laughs> um, we're not talking about this we remove all emotion from this call um <laughs> because we're talking about numbers here we're not talking about emotions and actually my wife is a financial planner um, we actually own a, we own, actually, we own a, um, a uh, RIA in America. That means we're basically like Morgan Stanley, Dean Witter. We're, we have our own financial planning firm. I'm, I control it, but I don't, I'm not part of, I'm part of it. But my wife says one thing. My wife is, um, my wife says one thing. She goes, you know, I, she says to me all the time, you know, why I love num numbers, Matt, because they have no emotions. They don't talk back. <laughs> and I'm like. <laughs> you know, like, um, and they don't lie either you know it's like okay so but 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 here's the thing to 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 know um for a lot of people is uh what if you what was the question if you don't split test um what was the question again um I've, uh I, oh, sorry i i didn't, read it. <laughs> I, didn't, read it I, I didn't i wanted to make sure people knew, you know and I, i'll say this to let me give this to so to Wayne, Wayne and I said something that I thought was like, wow, I haven't thought about in a long time ago. Let me give you a better example. Um, on a Facebook Live a couple of days ago, Wayne and I were discussing uh, something and he brought up the fact that he's um, learning to fly right now. And I discussed, I told him that I did that years ago and then I ended up hiring my uh, flight instructor. And I said, I literally, I saw, he was making $15,000 a year. And I said to him, I said, dude, how about I double that? And then I, I, I said, I'll, I'll give you, you know, I'll, you go find me a plane that you want to fly, find it, bring it to me, and I'll maybe I'll buy it. And so I bought, I paid cash for the plane. And so I had a company down in Florida, I had a company all those places, and we were flying back and forth. I had my pilot fly with me. One day we were flying, and I don't know if anybody remembers Katrina, but there was Hurricane Katrina that came through the United States. And I was flying. And as we were we were flying, now I always I don't know me because it was my plane. I took control of the plane, so I was always in the what's called the left seat, and then there's the right seat. And the right seat's usually the co-pilot, but I was always in command. Like it was my plane. It was even though I didn't even have my license, I I, I was still working on it. I still don't have my license, but I have my logbook. But I but I bring this up is so we're flying through Katrina, and we're flying through Katrina's hitting, and something shifted. And while uh, since we were looking at the weather, something shifted as we were going down to Florida uh, to one of my offices, and it was it, everything turned black. Uh, I look up, it's black. I look down, it's black. Actually, beginning, every, I look down, it's it's blue. Look up, it's blue. I couldn't figure out the horizon. I could not figure out what was what was up, what was down. And all of a sudden, it went black on us, and we got thrown up in the air a hundred knots. Up, we got thrown up in the air. I don't know how high, and then we got pushed forward a hundred knots. And if anybody knows what I'm saying, we got pushed forward pretty fast, uh, especially for that plane. Like it, literally, I was worried about the wings getting ripped off this plane at this moment. And so, um, but we're in this, I mean, it was scary. I couldn't see anything. And we had to move what's called VFR, uh, visual flight, um, whatever. And then so visual to move over to IFR, which is instruments. And I've never done this before. And by the way, Wayne, this was my first solo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, so he knows what I'm talking about. Anybody there knows what I'm talking. This is Matt's first solo, and so I'm flying. I call it solo. I had my pilot with me, so it was like my first long. I guess it was my first long flight. Um, so he tells me um, long flight, but um, but basically it wasn't. I can't remember the name of whatever it was, but it was one of those. It was my longest flight at the time. And so I, I went. My instructor says we need to move over to instruments. Now at this time, I have no, you know, because you, you, if you, if everybody's ever experienced this. There's some there's sometimes moments in time you cannot figure out up and down. 
And, um, you know, so I said, he goes, you need to, you need to trust. He said, the number one thing right now that we're in IFR, you need to do not trust anything except for the instruments, trust the instruments, trust the instruments, trust the instruments, trust the instruments. So thank God I trusted the instruments because there was moments in time I had to. We had to, I had to land and we could not see in front of our face. We had to trust the instruments to even land. Um, when I got out of the plane, I came out and I went to go kiss the ground. I couldn't even see the ground. That's how bad it was. You know, like I'm like, where's, I mean, I feel it, but I had to go down and kiss the ground because I, I, I really kissed the ground. I, I might, I, I didn't have to change my pants, but I really thought I might have to because it was very scary. But I say that is we had to trust the instruments. The same thing holds true when I'm testing. I've got to trust the data. It's so important to trust the data because the data will tell me what's going to win, what's going to make me more money today than anything else. And so, um, you know, from there. So, um, so did you find that question while I did that? Nope. <laughs> right. um, so, but there's so many questions coming through, mate. It's unreal. unreal. Um, yeah, yeah. So... You can make a champ of that. Great. All right, cool. Let's see here. Um, AB Flips is when you apply it to the same list. Um, AB Flips, do we apply it to the same? This is the same list. Okay, that's a great question. That is a good question. Um, yes, I do. <clears throat> so here is a, so let me, let me, yes, we do. Let me just, I'm going to make the assumption everybody understands what split testing is. I take one variation, two variations, three, four, five. I do five different, radically different variations. I test them typically about, in about seven minutes from now, I usually would do it. So just so you guys know, I woke up early for you because my brain does not start working till about 11 o'clock. Um, <clears throat> I'm usually at my office at around 11 o'clock. So around 11 o'clock, I'm sending an email out. Now it's, I'm in Atlanta right now. So, um, so at 11 o'clock, I'm sending out an email. And when I send out that email, I'm testing that email because I know I'm gonna double the amount of money. Now I can triple my money. And so what I do is this. So I will take this one list, I will split test, five radically variations, I will let, I will send it out, I will send it out, and then what I'll do is I will take that, and I will then find the winner, and now, granted, I'm usually testing, I actually test more than 10,000, 10,000 is the minimum, I'm usually testing a lot more, because I'm testing my whole entire list on the five, I used to, the whole entire list, of the, and then how I double, I triple my money, is that night, I mail to all the end openers, the winner, now, that's how I'm doing it today. How I used to do it was I would take 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. I would mail. I would wait about an hour or two. I would send the winner out the, to the rest of the list. After I did that, to the rest of the list, the winner to everybody else. What I found that there's two factors that are going to be the two factors that are actually going to increase my money even more and give me more a definite answer is time, which is huge time and the amount of data that I'm testing. So the more data I'm testing, the more accurate results and the amount of time I give it, the more accurate results. So what I do for me personally is I will mail my whole entire list in the morning at about 11 o'clock. I will do you know, each segment five. Some autoresponders allow you to allow you to do that, some autoresponders don't. Um, so you have to play by the rules of the autoresponder in this scenario. So, um, so I'll test five radically variations and then that night, I'll go back to the unopeners and, and mail only the winner to everybody that did not open during that test. And that triples the amount of money I'm making every single day. So uh, from, from there. So that's a massive tip. Yeah, that, that's a money maker right there. And, um, and the, the other question was, why, why do people not split test? The, fir the first one's obviously you need data. So not a lot of people especially on here, but we've got a solution for that, guys. Not a lot of people have the amount of data needed to split test. So if you've got a list of 200, you can't really split test. You're not going to have the confidence that, yeah, you've got the right data. What other reasons, Matt, do you think people use not to split test? It's boring. It's the big it one. Is boring. <laughs> it, it, unfortunately, people do not. I think here's the bigger reason, because it wouldn't be boring if you turn into a game like I do. Um, I, because I, I've turned it into a game. So that, that boring, we can knock out. I think really what it is, is I don't, I think the higher thing, you could say it's boring. People don't have the time. You know, we can make up all these excuses, but really here's the bigger excuse. I think people do not understand the, the, they do not understand how much money they are losing by not doing it. 
I think that is the bigger thing. That's that's the reason why I do it. It's called opportunity cost. If I, if, I mean, I'm going to send an email one way or another. I mean, I'm going to do it. I mean, I don't care. If I'm, you know, like that's the big thing. But if I, um, and I'm going to do it, like I said, one way or never, not one way or another. So if I'm going to do it, I might as well do it right. You know, <laughs> like um, now I will tell you there are times that I don't do it. Like um, if I'm traveling, I'm not going to split test because I'm not going to be able to find the winner. I'm not going to be able to do the whole thing. But what I am going to do, and let me be clear on this, if I'm going to do a one shot, one kill scenario where I hope to God and pray to God this thing's going to work, by God, I'm going to use a proven winner that I've used in the past. And by God, I'm going to use a proven email that match that winner and just make slight modifications to it. I am not starting at zero and I'm not going to use a question mark. I will not do that whatsoever. Yeah, that's awesome. So that, that's the thing. The more you do it, guys, the more experience you get, the more likely you are to send a winner in the first place. Um, okay, so who wants... Uh, let's see if there's any more questions, but let's... So I've never used any testing online. That's crazy. You need to split test, guys. But you can see now the importance of split test. Start with the winners. So, um, Matt, shall we move on? Um, who wants to take? Shall we? Who wants to take um, Matt's 15, 20 years of split testing and being able to use it for yourself? Uh, give me loads of yes. I want to see loads of yeses on this. Um, because this is absolutely insane what I'm now going to show you. We'll answer, there's some questions there. We'll answer, I'll answer individually later on, guys, like what responded, that kind of thing. Yes, yes. Let's see some more yeses because this is where, you know, you you, you can't get this stuff. You, you just can't normally get hold of this stuff. So let's see some more yeses. Yes. So Matt, I don't know if you want to share your screen. Yeah. Or I'm just share putting, I didn't know. I'm putting that stuff up on my screen right yeah. now. You guys caught me walking in. Um, so let me <clears throat> me um just go over here, do this. Uh, since I'm in my office, I have different uh things, it's a lot better. Or last time I was talking to you, I was at my my land. Um I thought I was gonna do it today in my library, but everybody was sleeping, so I didn't want to wake them up. <laughs> so uh no, appreciate, appreciate it matt all right let's go over here um and then i'm gonna go here and then i'm gonna push on this all right cool so this will oh, give us a good a good feel of everything so um show your screen yep uh, let me turn off my facebook's and we're going to show my screen and i'm going to show monitor number three all right cool so uh cool all right, so um, here's the deal, just so everybody knows. So what I did is I took, let me blow this up for you guys. Um, one, let me just make a very important point here. Do not go to any of the URLs that you're going to see right here. Do not whatsoever, before you see this, do not go to these URLs. Um, you want to make sure you go through his link from here. Unfortunately, I can't hide those. But I want to tell you this. Here's what the deal is, is I've done well over 15 years of split test. I have. Um, you know, I've done, well, I have, I've, I have doc at the beginning, I wasn't documented. I was stupid about it. Right. So I don't have my early on test. Uh, plus I moved from a program to another program. So I didn't, wasn't able to go backwards and get some of that data, but I have, cause I've done well over 8,000 email split test rounds, just so you guys know, but I have 7,682 different subject lines that were actually tested. I have my 2018 data, my 2019 data and my 2020 data. Um, and I put them all together and, um, just to let you know, this is a, um, this is kind of one of those dime sales, but let me just say, here's what happens. So every single week, um, every every Monday, I get reported to me my um, my data. So it gets sent to me every single week because if you don't pay to, uh, actually I have data, actually it's right here. I'm not gonna show you, but it's right here. I, I get it sent to me so I can review my data. I review data every single week. I have a girl, uh, my internal team, um, You know, basically we split test every single day. Um, and I have my data assistant from Siberia. What she does is she will pull my data a week later. Because remember I said time. So a week later, she will pull my data and give it to me. It, after about a week, things are dying off anyway. But it's going to give me my best ultimate data. So even after that 12 hours, something else might have won. And so over time, something else might have won. So I have her pull every single week. She pulls it every single week. She gets my data. And once it's uh, settled in, she gives it to me. And we put it in what's called a master file. So we put it inside a master file uh, from there. And so these, um, you know, that, so basically just let you guys know, I put it together 
and um, I'm pretty much handing it to you guys for nothing in a sense. Um, you know, I'll tell you like what we're talking right here is um, is ridiculous. I was just looking since we've been on here, somebody got it for 10, 11. Um, so it's underneath. It's actually, I mean, you can see right here. There's people already getting it right now. This is what's called a dime sell. What that means is the price keeps on rising. So right now it's under 15 bucks. It's a steal of a deal. Um, you know, it's actually underneath. $12. Um, so it's a steal of a deal uh, from there. And so what it is, is um, all my tests, everything. If you want to see, look, I mean, you can see right here, I'm just going through and showing you split test, split test, split test. I split this every single day. Um, in fact, when I open up my active campaign account, the, 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 there, they, when you, there's a company called active campaign, when you work with them, they actually have a um, rep. The rep called me up after a month and said, who the hell are you? Well, you've been with us for 30 days and you've split tested more than anybody that's ever used our system. And I'm like, ah, oh, um, my name's Matt. You know, like, I mean, he's like, I'm just a regular guy kind of thing. But, uh, but I, it's basically, you're going to get my best subject clients for the last 15 years. I, I want to say this too. Uh, this year has been very good to me. Um, very, very good to me, even though Corona for a lot of people, but email marketing has been on the rise. And in fact, um, and I want all of you guys to kick ass this year is really what I want to have happen. You typically could not pry this stuff out of my hands. I could, I wouldn't do it. I mean, uh, but with all the talk, I don't know if you know this, in, in, in email marketing is on the rise. And like, in fact, let me just show you right here. If you look right here, I want you to show you, this was Christmas last year. Look, this blue line is clicks. Look at how it dropped last year. And then this 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 open this uh, orange line is opens. Let's look today, and we're as we get closer because of Corona's created 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 an environment for us. People are opening their emails 20 times a day. People are clicking more. People are buying more. There is it, it has created an amazing environment to get inside this market. Look at this. This button right here is clicks. Look at this. The click rate went through the roof, um, and it's going to continuously doing that. And because of this. My business tripled this year. And so since my business tripled, what I'm doing is I'm giving all the proceeds, 100% um, of the proceeds to charity to help children all over the world. And so, um, and I'm also giving away this thing is called a, on the front end is called a 60 second leads. Um, this is something that I've been doing this. Um, I'm just gonna tell you, nobody out there is really talking about it, but this one thing right here has generated more leads for me than anything. Yeah, I could say that all year. And I just started using it um, in October. October. <laughs> so it hasn't been long and I'm sharing a video of exactly what I'm doing and how I'm doing it right there. Um, it's nothing like you've ever heard. And so I'll tell you, it is a dime sale. What that means is as soon as somebody goes there, the price will keep on rising quickly um, and it'll keep on rising, keep on rising, keep on rising. So that's the main thing. These are, there's hundred percent money back guarantee on it. Um, on that, um, you know, on that right there, the price will rise. Now I want to tell you another thing that actually has happened. I just made a change on the page to let everybody know, but the price will actually, um, will increase to $97. So right now it's a dime sale, but no matter what the price is at on Monday night, um, which is two days, 12 hours and 54 minutes from now, the price will rise to the $97. So, um, I just want to be clear on that. That's what you wanted me to go over. What do you, I hope I'm not. Yeah. Uh, go, should we go through all the other things? I okay, yeah, yeah. You can do it. yeah. Um, let's go through everything else to see because the the stuff that you're given here is absolutely insane. So I want to make sure we go over everything. Yeah. So let me be clear on something for everybody again, and I want to restate this. Do not go to this link yet. Do not go to this. Don't not go to this link. He's going to give you a special link and he's going to do something special for you. And the only way that you're going to get that special thing he's going to do for you is if you go through the link that he's going to give you, okay? Because then it'll be tracked back and everything else from there. Please, please, please follow the link that he's going to give you. I want to be clear on that. So now let me just take you over. So you guys just want to, well, let me, let me say a couple things about this before we move in to the next thing. And it's down here, some Q and A's. We've already talked about what split testing is. You guys know about that. Um, I'm just, I, you know, the thing on there, um, this right here is 15 years of documented split testing showing my test. It shows what won. It shows in the winners that you can swipe. The, um, the you can use these in any market, any niche. And I've even seen, you know, Trump and Biden use them. So uh, just so you know from there. And actually, I will say this. I was watching them and they I think they're watching me. I was on a call and I said to them, my friends or my hiring clients, I said, somebody keep telling, tipping them off on my shit because they're using my words in their campaigns, too, because I was paying attention. To them. Um, actually, and I'm not going to tell you who it was, uh, but one of them was. Um, and I actually do know people in their camp. So it might be. <laughs> um, but the other thing is they're broken down in this section. The first section of the master file is in order by time, uh, starting with the newest split test I ran by um, in super plus as I ran with 500 subject clients and then the winners. And then what happens is I'll give you the winners um, so that you can look at them, you grab and use. 
um, you know, from there. So just to be clear on that. Now, the next thing is this is so you're probably wondering, okay, after I get that, what else is there? I'll just walk you through them. Okay. So I'm going to walk you through. This is called the, um, the, the funnel. Um, well, actually, let's go through. Oh, I got it. Let me, I did the same thing I did last time. I'm in the wrong area. Generate link offers. Hold on one sec. I need to get to. Oh, because I'm in the affiliate section. Hold on. Let me get to the, get to the back end uh, section. Okay, here we go. This is what we want to see. Um, okay, so number one is you go to that page. Number two, um, what's going to happen is this. There's going to be another OTO. So if you've ever seen it, so first, initially, there's going to be another OTO. I'll just tell you what that is. I'm just going to take it on here. So this is an opportunity to get something None, you know, um, on here. What this is is, right, this is is what I did is every single month for the last, um, every month, I go in and I get those tests for my assistant every month, well, every week, but then every month we, we add them to the master file and then we have a monthly, you know, segment of stuff. So I can look at a month on a month basis. So I look at a week basis, a month basis and, a, and forever basis. Um, you're gonna get the forever basis. But if I look down at a month, what I did was I put together um, 26 different videos where every month for 26 months, I went in and looked last 26 months. So they're relevant right now. I went in and I said, here's the data. So we, I looked at the data. And then I went into the data when I got it in my hands and you can watch and listen to me as I tell you why I did what I did. I'll tell you exactly what I tested. I'll tell you what I got, what ideas I got from the test, new things that I, I noticed from the test. There's certain words and certain ways I was doing things I noticed were working even better but it's all based upon 15 years of experience. So it's pretty cool. I, I come up with these new discoveries. I'm like, oh my God, do you guys see this? Here's what started to happen. Here's a new trend that's happening in the market right now uh, based upon them. I tell them about new changes I noticed. I'm um, telling them things that I thought that I, you know, of that I didn't test, you know, like, I mean, what I also, I didn't test. I'm like, damn it, I should have probably done it this way. This would have worked, um, you know, and then also um, what used to work in the past was working now. In fact, it's 26 months of subject line of my subject lines and my data, me going over on video, but I even take it even a step further because I'm going to also give you the exact emails that went along with the subject lines and the data that I'm going over that you can adjust, you can modify, you can um, alter, you can tweak for your own follow-up sequence, for your own emails. And so um, you're going to be able to get that. That is, um, you know, this is this is actually, when you combine that together, it's pretty good. It comes with 60-day money-back guarantee. This will be another dime sale. So as soon as you come up the one dime sale, this dime sale is more aggressive. So this dime sale will keep on going up even more from there. Then after you do that, that'll be the first thing that you will see after you get in there. The next thing you'll see is a mastermind that I have um, is, and this is, you know, I will tell you, they say that you're, um, this is a mastermind. This right here is a mastermind that I do have. And actually, I'll tell you what, I'll go to Facebook. I have people, this is a, well, I'm not gonna show you the link because then I'm gonna have to deal with that. But um, it's a private group and that I have on Facebook. They tell everybody, the one thing they say, and this is a 12 month group, this is exactly what it looks like on um on this one exactly it's a facebook group and i will tell you we're in there sharing stuff there are people that you know um there's devon brown anthony mccarthy uh reed florin jeremy kennedy uh david purdue uh, nick james all uh, john cornetta the of groove cards everybody's in there helping each other like it's a private group it's my mat it's, it's this mastermind group that i have every single week we do a really cool thing on that um and it's basically it's an elite group and if you want to join that elite group then go ahead and do that. That'll be the second thing. So the first thing you'll see is what's called a secret tested package, which is the 26 um, videos of me going over the data with the emails that go along with them. And then after that, you'll see the, the mastermind. And then the third thing, which you'll see after you do that is actually um, a, another thing, which is it says something missing. Now, I saw that there was a pilot on here, so you're going to love this. Um, and I will tell you, that um, this is, if anybody knows anything about flying planes, I, I will tell you, you should be feel very safe about flying planes because the pilot, uh, the pilots have always, every pilot, they, they follow what's called a check sheet. It tells, they, they get in the plane, it tells you do this, do this, do this, and you must follow the check sheet. You follow the check sheet, you follow the check sheet, you follow the check sheet, everything's a check sheet. If you actually watch pretty much everybody's industry that, so that things are safe, so that you don't miss anything, so that you, you know, so that things work, things work properly. I don't know if you guys ever miss something, but that's exactly what this is, is basically, you know, before you ever had that feeling that you forgot to do something, you know, that happens, you know, when you go on vacation, that happens when you're at the grocery store, um, you know, 
but it happens a lot even when you're doing email marketing and what this is is my check sheets now I'm, these are my check sheets that I created as you just discovered that I actually uh, I'm not a pilot but I actually flew I don't know um, over I think 800 hours or something like that and I never got my license um, so I was in my own plane so I didn't need to I had I hired my pilot but my point is this I, I say this because this is what gave me the idea I'm flying in the plane I'm like oh my gosh we use check sheets for everything we even created check sheets on check sheets to make sure that nothing ever went wrong especially because my plane um, there's certain things and I want to make sure we remembered for people even in the back of my plane and so I say that because um, I created check sheets these are 20 different checklist checklists for, for growing um, and, and for growing and creating responsive list and let me be clear something about this this is not a check sheet really this is more or less a mini blueprint these are I would call them mini blueprints I call them check sheets just because of the the, the piloted the, the the you know that kind of pilot side of me but I will say this these are mini blueprints because they're more than just arranged in chronological order um, that I've never created or hand out anything else because I put down there's meat to these things there's there's steps there's ideas there's options there's examples there's templates there's questions and there's a lot more these are the templates I'll just tell you they're the 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 the, the, the blueprints the mini blueprints it's you've got the ultimate email checklist where I'm going to go over the obvious things. I'm just going to tell you it's just obvious 20 points, obvious things that you should do. Uh, the call to action checklist. Now, this one right here, call to action. That's what we're talking about, getting people to click. Call to action. There's a checklist for that to really boost your response and boost your clicks. Uh, crafting the perfect subject line. Well, that's exactly if your subject line stinks, you know what? Your email goes straight to the trash. That's exactly why I give you this um, checklist in here. List monetization checklist. Some of you guys, based upon your questions, you're going to really love this one because I go over 15 ways to maximize the amount of money you make when you when you send an email. I'm on that. Also, the special promo checklist, which you're going to get, is it's really one way to write, light a fire underneath your your subscribers. The boost is boost the conclusion is offering a special promo. I have a checklist for that. The pre-sell checklist. I will tell you this one. It, when you get it, you're going to do this. You're going to make a crap ton more money. This right here is, if you ever wanted to like whip your subscribers into a frenzy, well, that's exactly what this is. It whips them up in a buying frenzy. Um, and then, so gets them into the, gets them to the page. This one's a checklist that shows you how to do that. There's a follow-up checklist. If you ever want to create a follow-up sequence, when you give them multiple exposure to something, I have a checklist for that. Um, if you're going to create what now they call it lead magnets, opt-in pages, whatever the hell we're calling them these days, every year it changes, but I call it because today's term is lead magnet. So I, I changed it from the opt-in page checklist to the lead magnet checklist. The only thing I've changed about it, but this tells you how to get more subscribers, how to get more people on your list and things like that. It's just a checklist to make sure you do those. The lead capture checklist. This is like places you could go to capture more leads outside of your opt-in page. Okay. That's on that one right there. Um, the 10 types of emails campaigns checklist. These are different ways you could do to boost it. Um, if things from here, list, list segmentation. Um, if you're into list segmentations or you want to know the way that I do it, the checklists are right there. Um, really, you can boost your conversions on your page. If some of you guys I saw right now, you're only at 100 subscribers. Well, I've got your first 1,000 subscribers checklist. So in order to get to the first 1,000 subscribers, I create a checklist for that, which we all know doing that. This is an exact checklist. It'll show you exactly what to do to get that, a step-by-step -step process to make that happen, to start from scratch. For those of you more advanced, you're like, man, I had this list. It's dead. It's cold. It's not, you know, they're not responsive. How do we raise them from the dead? Well, guess what? That's my checklist for doing that. I just, I just go to my checklist, make that happen. 14. Um, the next one you'll see is a social list building checklist. This is really, if you have a social presence, this is how you can really make things happen from that. Now you can increase your open rate checklist. So this is something you can do to increase your open rates. Also, this one right here, my buddy, uh, Ryan Dice um, of Digital Marketer, he came up with this concept of a three-part campaign. It's gain, logic, fear, and that's exactly what this is around that concept of what he's doing. Uh, but basically, how it's one of the keys to a good campaign, uh, making sure you resonate with different different subjects of the population. Um, the autoresponder checklist. So if you want to create an autoresponder sequence, um, autoresponder checklist. Also, the email deliverability checklist. Okay, these are things. If you ever run into any issues or you want to increase your deliverability, you want to have that checklist. The promotional calendar checklist, well, guess what? I mean, you should know when, you know, Black Friday is. You should know when New Year's Eve is. You should know when these things, these promotional calendars, I'm going to give you a checklist to make sure you hit on the hottest days that are going to make you the most money um, outside of, you know, hitting on every day from there. And then relationship building checklists. Many of you want to resonate with your, your, your subscribers. You want it, that key. Well, it's all inside that. And all these checklists um, you will see right there, they also come with 
Um, I, it's help you avoid any mistake, but it also help you to learn and grow uh, from there. And so you can build your list faster, so you can get them more responsive, so you can grow your list, so you could um, maximize your profits. And so just so you know, this is like crazy, um, crazy great deal. The good thing is these are all my checklists that I'm handing to you. There's over 20 checklists, and that's what you will see as you go through the sequence. So initially you'll see the main thing right here, I will tell you that's rising on Monday, um, which you guys want to get it now so you get this special deal. This is rising um, on here. This is um, my 26 different uh, going over the split test, watching me plus the emails. And this right here is my, my mastermind. And this right here is, and I talk, people are shocked. And this right here is my 20 checklists um, that are out there. So um, I'll pass it over to back to you unless you need me to show you anything else. No, that's awesome, Matt. That is absolutely insane. I absolutely love these checklists, guys. Um, and anyone that goes through, and I'll, I'll take you through it again in a, in a minute, guys, and take you through what you need to do. But anyone who gets these checklists, because you can see how awesome they are, I've got some bonuses as well, only available on this live. Okay, so no one else, no one else gets these. So I'll just um, share my screen if that's all right, Matt. How do I uh, share my screen? And then I'll take you through the link and everything you need to purchase it, guys. There you go. It should be me now. I've got. I'm the same as you. I've got one of these super wide. So getting the right thing. There we go. Okay, so um, anyone that purchased the checklist, guys, okay, um, I have got uh, my solo ad event that I done last, that was last December, wasn't it, Matt? Last December. Um, last December, Matt actually came over and was at this event. So there's tons and tons. It's all around buying solo ads and actually selling solo ads. Um, it was a two-day event. Matt flew over. Um, Anthony McCarthy flew over. Uh, it was absolutely fantastic. So when you buy the checklist, you get this, guys. It's uh, There's actually a two-and-a-half-hour masterclass on inboxing to go with the checklist. Uh, you've got optimizing CPA offers, talk about lifetime value, how to make pseudo ads work, basically, and how some of the tips and tricks and uh, things that pseudo ad sellers do. So you get that as a bonus. Uh, you also get 21. Hopefully, they're all uploaded now. Not yet, but... Uh, 21 masterclasses. These are where um, my, me and my team, so I've actually got someone that I coach to do AdWords, do AdWords for me. We go through and show you how to do AdWords, okay? This is from beginner level all the way through. We even give you some done for you campaigns. Uh, we've also got um, Facebook ads masterclass. This is happening at the minute. We had one today at 1 p.m. just before Matt came on. Um, so you get access to that. There's one more of these live. Okay, this this one here, no, uh, yeah. So this one here is live next Saturday, so you can join us live. Uh, this takes it from beginner level through to fairly advanced. And then as the last bonus, guys, we've got um, a direct mail masterclass, which is on the 16th of January. This is live as well, and this will show you how to do direct mail. Okay, which is same thing in the, in the post. This is Ryan Alaire. We're jumping on and going through one of my programs, and you guys are helping with that. Um, so guys, let me know, okay, to get all of this. If you uh, let me know if you want the link, and I will send over the link uh, to you. Um, again, you can only get these bonuses whilst we're on the live, okay. So it's important you jump on this now with all the price uh, rate going up and everything. And I'll show you how to do it. So let me grab the link. In fact, I might be able to put it on the screen as well. Let me know if you want the link, guys, and I'll get it to you. Link, awesome. So I'll send that across. I'll put that in the Q and A and send to everyone, and I'll put it in the chat as well. If you have problems with the link or you haven't got it, let me know, and I'm now going to share my screen and show you how you get it all. Link, link. There you go. So I've sent the link across, guys. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. Let's put it on my screen. Let's see if I can close other tabs. I'm just going to swap screens. Actually, I'll put it on here. There we go. So you go to the link that will swirl around like this. Okay. And it will take you to, there we go, the um, the first front end offer, as we call it. Uh, this has got, guys, 7,682 subject lines. And remember, you need subject lines. You need good split test subject lines. 
Uh, they'll increase your opens, increase your clicks, increase your sales. And these are tested by the legend himself, Matt. Uh, so you know these are going to be good. Uh, you need to come down to order now. Like so. You come to here. Uh, the, remember, the price goes up um, every sale. And then you click checkout. Okay, it'll take you to the, uh, this page, which is fill in your name, your card number, PayPal if you've got it. Uh, once you click checkout and you've paid, it will refresh. Uh, let me grab the next link. It will then refresh to uh, this page, which I'll show you. This page here. There we go. Um, and this is where Matt goes through 26 months. Okay, 26 months of uh video of him going over his data it's absolutely insane it's kind of like getting coaching uh over what he's looking at how he looks at the data so this this one is absolutely insane um again you need to get this one when you scroll actually there'll be a buy button here uh you can click order that now okay so you click order now then you come through to the secret email mastermind which is here There we go. Uh, the secret email mastermind. This is a one-off fee, guys. Okay, so you, uh, one-off uh, lasts for the whole year. You go into uh, the secret mastermind, which has got Matt in it. It's got um, a few good. It's got some brilliant people in there: Nick James, John Conetta, uh, Reed, uh, Declan. Most of you know will know Declan. So it's got all these guys and all sharing ideas. Okay. Uh, if you need the link, guys, let me know. Everyone should have it. Um, it's in the chat as well. Okay. So. You come through and you purchase this as well. There'll be a link at the top. Um, add that to cart. This one's $84, okay, for an entire year. Masterminds like this are normally much, much, much more expensive, guys, okay? So you add that to cart, and then you come through to the checklists, okay, which are absolutely awesome. And I'll grab the link for them. Yeah, you guys asked for the link. I'll get that to you. you. Come across to here. And then you purchase the checklists. Okay. These are actually insane. You can see all the check. Matt went through all the checklists that you're actually going to get. Okay. So these are absolutely bonkers. You can see the difference these are going to make to your business. Uh, you scroll down. Um, these are 97. I think everything in total is about 287. Okay. And you click add to cart. Once you've got all of these, okay, um, you'll get delivered these instantly. And then if you don't have an email list, you need to start one, David. You need to start an email list like now. It's the best asset you can ever build. Um, once you've um, added to cart, you get instant access. Um, inside Warrior Plus, there's a bonus area, okay? It says access your bonuses. You'll need to create an account in OSP if you've haven't got an account already. If you have, it will be in your OSP account. Within 24 hours, okay, you will get these bonuses like it is in here in your product access area. You'll have my solo ad event. Okay, remember this is only um, when you grab the checklists. Okay. Um, you get the solo ads event. Again, this was $500, $500 a ticket or $300 a ticket. Matt booked a last minute flight over. Oh, the flight. Oh, Matt. No, I was just going to say that I just <laughs> took my off so everybody could focus on you. But I was just going to say that event right there, I when I found out he was doing it, um, I dropped everything. Well, actually, it was a couple, couple of days before it actually happened. But I dropped everything, rearranged my calendar, bought a ticket from the United States to fly to London last minute. So it cost me more than usual uh, to fly yeah. from Atlanta to, to there. But I will tell you. I, I was a few minutes because because it was so last minute, I think I was like an hour late and it wasn't because I was late. It was like I landed, pulled my uh, I carried my bags in there. You know, I came into the room. I sat down. I listened to Wayne for about one hour. I think I dropped my pen and I was like, shit, I'm ready to go home because I, I mean, I say that because he what he said was blew my mind. I mean, I, I I was like, I got what I came here for, like in, in the first hour that I was there. So, like, you know, and I will tell you, then I, the next day, I think the same thing happened. I'm like, I was just so, like, so excited 
about the things that I was learning. I just, I remember just like, this is, it was one of the greatest events that I've been to in a long, long time. And I've been going to events since 1997. So, or 99 for sure. Um, so I will tell you I, that you, if you're in the business of email marketing, you know, and the best way to say it, you got to freaking hear what he says inside that event. Yeah. Awesome. That's, that's brilliant. Thanks for that, Matt. Um, so yeah, you get access to the whole event with this guys. The only thing that's cut out is the breaks. Okay. Um, and there's a good, there's a good 15 hours of learning there and you'll learn so much in that. Um, you also get the Facebook ads masterclass, which is happening right now. Okay. Um, this is delivered from one of the people I go to for my, um, my Facebook ads. Okay. One of the people I actually go to. And there's another one. This one is live. Masterclass four is live next Saturday at 1 p.m. So you can be on live. You can ask questions, um, anything Facebook ads. Uh, you also get um, AdWords Masterclass, 21 sessions, 21 masterclasses um, inside that. Okay. And it's from me. It's actually got some tools included. Um, and it's got some campaigns um, for the BizOp niche as well. And, I mean, you can see access to this. You'll get this inside the same membership area. And you get a done for you AdWords campaign to start you off. Okay. So these are bonuses for the checklist. Um, and you also get a live direct mail masterclass. Okay. Uh, this is Ryan Allaire. Uh, absolutely love this guy. And he is the direct mail king. He's coming in and we're talking about direct mail. That's what we're doing. We're talking about how we can set up a direct mail campaign. And you guys, I'm going to look for your guys' input. So not only are you going to learn on that, you're going to have input to what I'm actually doing, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and again, if you want the link, guys, I'm going to make sure everyone has got the link. I'm going to send it to everyone. It is inside the chat. If you haven't got the link, guys, let me know. If you get stuck with anything, let me know. I can walk, walk you through it again. Um, but guys, you're getting... You know, the things you're getting from the split testing king, right? There's there's no one on the planet, I don't think, that split tests anywhere close to Matt, okay? Um, so you're getting 7,682 split tested subject lines. It's absolutely insane. Uh, then you're getting Matt going over the data. This is worth it alone, guys. Just sitting there watching how Matt thinks and him going through the data. Uh, then you need to get... Uh, the mastermind okay again 84 dollars for the entire year it works out to about seven is seven dollars a month okay um you need to grab this as well uh, that, that's going to be insane um matt shoo me through this um and i'm i'm going to be in there as well guys matt shoo me through this and it is insane there's sharing going on it's a true mastermind where it's not just matt sharing things it's the members as well. It's the people you saw on the list sharing things with each other as well. So you're getting loads and loads of um, other people's input as well. And then the ultimate checklist, guys. You guys know um, we've talked about checklists many times before. My, my business use them. We use them. So whenever someone joins our team, we give them a checklist because a checklist is proven to work. Uh, Matt has put these together across 20, 20 different checklist guys that he used in his business that you can go through and use to implement it in your inside your business this is uh, the ultimate kind of thing that you can get um so all of that combined guys you can see the power of it you can see how long it's taken matt to learn the trade to become the top in the trade and uh, you're getting all that information uh, that he's compiled over the years um and it's absolutely bonkers plus you get the bonuses um any questions from anyone? Anything? It is insane. This package um, is insane, honestly. It's because I know what Matt brings. I know what Matt will bring to you guys. I know the knowledge he brings. I know that um, you're going to make, like the ultimate goal is to make more money, guys. Okay. Um, and a lot of the time you don't have the, you know, you might only have 100 or 1,000 subscribers. Okay. Um, you're going to get the things that are proven to work for Matt. All right. So you, you know, you send an email, the subject line is going to be the one that gets the opens, that uh, gets the person to take action inside the email. Okay. Um, Dan, I'll, I'll answer that um, separately, Dan, because that'll be an interesting thing. Um, yeah, Hasnane um, already bought the front end and also the mastermind would still get the bonus. 
Yes, you would. Um, yeah, as long as you buy everything in the funnel, okay, um, has name, that's fine. And I, that's fine, mate, yeah. In fact, I will, if you buy the front, again, guys, some people have bought the front end before. If you want all the bonuses, um, I will refund you personally. I right? don't get refund from a previous affiliate or anything like that, but I will pay you back the front end, okay? I want everyone, I really want everyone um, who follows what I do to get this. It will help immensely. Um, yeah, that's fine, her name. The bonuses uh, will be inside. So if you're not a member of o OLSP, which is our membership area, they'll be inside there. Just give us a bit of time to put them in there. Matt's products will be delivered straight away. Okay, they'll come to you pretty much straight away. Um, ours will just take a little bit of time to put inside uh, your members area. All right, just give us a bit of time and they'll all appear inside. Uh, with everything you got there, guys, you have got, I mean, Matt said, the other day on the other live, it cost four or five thousand dollars to attend this, and you you guys get a bo as a bonus. I have never given this as a bonus uh, before. The last live I did, I believe I did, uh, but I've never sold this because I didn't want to give this information away. And you guys are getting this as a bonus, absolutely massive. Um, no, not the not the. So just purchase the front end and what you missed out his name. Uh, then you'll get them. Okay, so I'm going to show you that again. Uh, so to clarify, it's still, uh, yeah, I've answered that. Um, I'm going to go through it once more, guys. Um, any questions, let me know. If anything's unclear, just let me know, uh, and I'll go through it. Okay, um, let me know if you have the link oh. as well. Yes, yeah, let uh, me yeah. say this too, just so everybody knows that 100% uh, of the proceeds are going to charity. So even if, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, like, <laughs> I mean, I don't know, like the one thing that kind of worries me is, you know, somebody's getting in. If you guys, um, when you get in, just you know, just know that things are going to charity too. So um, we're gonna we're putting stuff money on the side that's going to go to charity. And we're gonna be giving a big check um, after a while um, to over to charity. So I only bring that up because it's one of the reasons I'm doing I'm doing this crazy deal um, is because because I could sell this for thousands of dollars. I, I'm not shitting you. I could go to a web I could do a webinar, sell my data for a thousand dollars. People would gladly pay for it. Um, I bring, and I'm bringing, I'm doing this because I want to start off the beginning of the year so that you guys win. So you're in the winning position because I like to play, you, you should always play to win and put yourself in the position to win. And so I'm just, I just want to bring that up. And actually what's interesting while we were sitting here, I got an email from my client. I'm not going to show it over, but I'll just read you it because he said, oh shoot, I just, I read it. And then I, I must've clicked something else, but he said something to me. Oh, there's too many in here, but basically it was interesting. He bought a solo ad. He used the strategy that has my bonus on the main thing. He said the solo ad got him like a 20% conversion rate. And then after that, and then plus he picked up, he had, by the time he was done, he got another 30% conversion a 30% more subscribers by using the strategy that I told him in that video or in that, uh, that bonus. So this is, it works for solo ad people too. This is a perfect, I never thought of that. Um, I never thought of it and I should probably put it on there, but let you guys know my 60 second lead program will just freaking make your solo ad stuff. Just it'll fix your, your lead problems for sure. <laughs> God. Uh, I, I mean, I can't tell you exactly what it is. You got to buy it to get it, but um, that's pretty cool. Awesome. Um, so guys, is, do we get a bonus front end? Um, there isn't a bonus for front end because for $10 guys, it's absolutely it's going to charity, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, and it's going to charity. So, like the the seven thousand. Just think, that's how many years of testing is that, Matt? Uh, fifteen. Fifteen years. You're getting fifteen years worth of split testing for about ten, whatever it's at now. It's now at well, ten dollars thirteen. Yeah, and I know, honestly, guys, know this. So, so let me just tell you, if you guys want to hire me, if if Wayne called me up and said, Matt, I want to hire you for a day, I'm going to fly in, I'm going to spend the day with you, I'm going to hire you for a day. He would, I would charge him twenty thousand um, dollars. If Wayne said, "Hey, I want to get in on the phone for an hour," I would say it's two thousand dollars. But since you're a client, I'm going to give it to you for a thousand because he's a client. But I do not move my. I did last year. Now, not this year because COVID. Well, hell, we're in a new year. Um, but but in 2020, um, because of COVID, uh, I didn't get to do as many twenty the twenty thousand dollar days. Before that. In 2019, I did 32 20,000 days. People paid me, 32 people 
paid me twenty thousand dollars to spend the day with me i say that because my time and energy that i put in there be not only getting that i put in there is well i mean if you think about how many hours of tedious testing every single day you take an hour a day times 15 an hour a day times 15 so that would be 360 times 15 multiply that by a thousand that's how much that's worth to me that is how much like, that's that's how much it's worth to me i can't put that on there because it's like you're like what the hell you know like that's crazy but no i spent an hour a day that's a thousand dollars an hour of my time because here's the reason i say that because i make I, how i came up with the number that i charge is based not based upon i pulled some number out of my butt i pulled that number about how much money i make and you probably fig maybe figures out if you know how many hours i work but i said here's how many hours i work a week here's how much money i make a year this is exactly what my out this is what i make an hour so every moment i take a moment away to work with somebody on the sidelines you know then i would lose that money and i want it back so that's why i charge those prices so I, on average, I make $20,000 a day. You kind of figure that one out. So, I mean, I, I make a lot of money. And the point is, is, but when you get somebody with my multi, I mean, I'm talking, I'm, I'm, I am in a great position. I don't need money. I don't need anything. That's why I'm giving all the proceeds to charity. But what I want to do this year is freaking help you because email marketing is on the rise. It, it, 20, I don't know if you know this, but over the because of COVID, COVID forced the whole world to get online. And guess what they all did? They all got email accounts. It, the, the number one biggest thing on that rose was not Facebook accounts, was not Twitter accounts, was not link, LinkedIn accounts. It was email accounts. It forced more people to get email accounts than ever before. So therefore, you have a bigger pull than there ever has been. And I want to put you in the position to win so you can market to those people that finally got their email addresses, finally, all over the world because of course the grandmas are getting them now grandpas are getting it now i mean if you if you think about what just happened but it opened the door to it kids were forced to do it why why were people forced because when people wanted to go order online because they were forced to instead of going to the stores and ordering online if they needed to get their password it went to the email account they had to get an email accounts if they lost their re password if they lost their passwords they had to go to their email account to get it People, it forced the world to email. We are all in the biggest opportunity of, of the, my lifetime, of my 15 years being online. I think this is bigger now. Email, when politicians are using email to get into, to, to win the elections, when, you know, they're there. And I will tell you, I mean, you what you've seen here in the United States, it's going to ripple around the world more and more. It, it, email marketing is on the rise. And we're putting you in the position to win right now. Win with winners. Yeah. Um, and Tony says, why do people say email marketing is dead? Because they're trying to sell you something else. Email marketing is not dead. You like I already showed you is. when I showed you the right. things. I mean, we're I tripled my business this year. If that was true, why the hell that happened? Every everybody, I mean, it, 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 that they that you're here's the thing. That information was built three years ago not last year not this year because we're in a new year that was three-year-old information and you know who came up with that that term was the bot chat bot people the chat bot people were trying to sell that shit pardon my language but it was shit and it's dead now that's what's really dead it, well, it is dead because of regulation and because they never controlled you you when you're doing chatbots you are not in control when you're doing email marketing you're in control if you have a problem with an email account a uh, uh, service provider you can move to another service provider when it came to chatbots you are building on somebody else's platform that you don't own they can change the rules in a second we are in a perfect position that was built by them to sell their shit and they use whatever they could to make everybody believe that I kept on moving forward. Wayne kept on moving forward because we knew the truth. And that's exactly what you're buying when you're getting these in your hand. I don't speak. I don't pull stuff out of my ass. I don't pull stuff out of my head. I pull stuff out of my data and I teach from my data because it works. And I don't care what anybody says because I, and that's actually why I test. Somebody will say this is the best subject line in the world. I said, fine, I'm going to prove it. 
Is it? No. And I usually kick their ass every single time because I test it. You're going to get the best ass kicking subject lines in the world. Pardon for my language, but I'm just going to tell you every time I hear somebody saying emails dead or whatever the hell, I just want to go and find the person that said that and strangle them because they are hurting so many people. They are taking, stealing from the lives of you and everybody else to truly get into a business that can make you more money than you ever po thought possible. The people probably told you that through email. That's what's the crazy spot. And people out there believe that crap. And that's what sucks. But that also proves the power of email. You can say whatever the hell you want and people will believe it a lot of times. And, you know, so, but, but the point is, this is, I will tell you, this is the truth. This is not just the truth because I say it because my data says it. My, I am coming from a place of data, and that's what really separates me from everybody out there in the marketplace and what we're sharing. And I will tell you, here's another thing. Wayne shares, and that's why I loved his event, because he was sharing the truth. Everybody else skirts around it. Nobody wants to tell you. They've got their own agenda. They've got all this stuff. The truth is email marketing has been the most profitable thing you could ever do online, point blank, period. It is the most profitable. Let me prove it to you. Let me prove it to you another way. Wayne, I don't know if you know this, but I'll tell you, you need to start using this statistic. Two years ago, before COVID hit, the average return on investment with email was $36. For every dollar you spent, you made $36 back. After COVID right now, at this very moment, the average return on investment for every dollar you invest in email marketing now is at $42. Is it dead? No, it's freaking alive and it's the most profitable thing you could do. It's, 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 you've got to hone in the skill and to get better so you can extract, get more money. Because if you don't, you know, you're stealing from your own lives. And in fact, I'll tell you, when you do, your bank account's going to look a lot bigger. Exactly, guys. Um, I lost my chat bot um, three months ago, made no difference to my business. I spent 30 something thousand delivering emails that month. Email, email is king. Um, Okay, I'm going to take you through it once more, guys. I want to take you through this. So I want to make sure you get this, okay? Um, and let me know if you haven't got the link. We're going to post the link once more. So everyone has got it. I'll send that out to everyone. And I'll put it in the chat again so it should pop up for you guys. Okay, so front front end. 7,682 subject lines that were actually tested, okay? Uh, it will go up in price Monday to $97, guys. So you need to grab this. Order now before price price rises. And again, you only get these, the bonuses that I'll show you in a second um, on this live. As soon as we end these li this live, the bonus is gone. Uh, then you come through to the 26 months of videos going through the data. This is insane, guys. Imagine... Watching Matt, you've seen what Matt is like. Imagine him going through all that data. Okay. Um, and this is 97.45. The whole, everything together is 286, roughly. If you add that to cart, uh, you come here, join the mastermind. Now, I did see someone asked, is there, is there any, uh, any recurring? Does this recur every year, Matt? Uh, which one? The mastermind? Mastermind. It's... Yes, it's a yearly, you know, you can always cancel, but um, I mean, I'm just going to tell people it doesn't hurt my feelings. You're not going to want to when you're in there. But yes, it is. It's a yearly um, $84 a month. I mean, it's $84 a year, uh, not a month, $84 a year. So, I mean, it's a, it's a no brainer. All this is, is really initiation fee, you know, um, you know, to get in and just, and it's really to weed out. Like, uh, I mean, just, I mean, Wayne and you and I both know this. I mean, you know, if somebody that doesn't spend money in a group and somebody that does spend money in the group, don't would you not have both agree that that's better quality? Yeah. Yeah. So what we're doing is weeding people out and we're getting the best, you know, the best that want to join a lead group of people um, so that every, you know, everybody knows the rules and everybody's, you know, you know, got their skin in the game. Exactly. It's a big thing, the skin in the game, guys. Um, get, uh, once you purchase the mastermind, you will come across. To the checklist okay i absolutely friggin love these checklists guys um and you need to grab these checklists because there's not really an email problem that that isn't covered here the first th thousand subscribers so if you haven't got it yet uh this one will be massive for you okay um once you purchase this there's the buy button you purchase it here you add it to your cart uh, everything will get delivered to you you'll also get the bonuses from me um, inside Warrior Plus, okay, inside here, 
um, there is a boot access your bonus area. You go into there, you have to make an account uh, in our membership area. If you've already got an OSP account, you can just log into yours. Give us kind of 24 hours on um, 32 hours to get the bonuses in your account. But these are the bonuses you'll get when you purchase the checklists, okay? The 20 checklists. You get the solo ad event that we've talked about, okay? Again, this isn't available public and won't be available public anywhere, guys. You get the AdWords masterclasses. Um, these were for VIP members. Uh, there's 21 of those. You get access to the direct mail masterclasses, which is going to be a live, um, live event. And you get Facebook ad masterclasses which are still live now. There's one left, but these take you from kind of beginner to intermediate, just over an immediate level. Um, and you get to answer, ask all the questions you could ever ask. Any more questions, guys? I want to make sure everyone's picked this up before we call it a day. Because um, obviously, I do not want to give this out um, to tons and tons of people. Yeah, if you miss any of the masterclass, so if you miss this one, guys, what will happen when you click access instead of this saying uh, register here the video will be there okay so if you miss anything they're always um inside the membership area as well okay so if you miss anything you've still got them um, you, and you keep them all right you'll keep them inside this membership area um, and you get all of these bonuses um check this is amazing that's brilliant gar I, this is the thing i knew you guys would absolutely love that checklist Okay. Um, what's the? I can't give you a direct link for the last offer, Alan. That's not how it works. Um, we can't give you a link. If you have any problems, guys, like if you bought the first three, you can't get to the last one. Um, message me, and I'll see if we can work something out. That's not the link. Yeah, if you go, the links don't work like that. The link you need to go to is this one, Chuck. I just sent you the link. It's basically. Let me put it up on my camera so you can see it. Traffic domination um, dot locks slash file. Okay. Let me see if I can just put it on my screen so you can see it as well. Uh, I can't. No, I can't. So uh, I've sent it to you. Uh, it's traffic domination dot rocks slash file. Okay. That's where you need to order from. Okay, any more questions, guys? Everyone picked up a copy before we call it a, live, uh, a day because uh, the bonus will not be available. Yeah, this one we haven't put live anywhere. You only get to see this by being here um, on this live right now. Matt, is there anything else you want to say, mate? Well, I just want to say, seriously, thank everybody. Wayne, thanks for doing this. Um, too, just so you guys know, I'm, uh, I would never wake up early as I did. Wayne has got me to do two things I have never done. Wake up this early to get on a call and do a call for my, uh, I did, we did a Facebook live for my, my, my land. Um, but I will say this, it, you know, is for everybody. This is the, you guys, I mean, look, the opportunity is huge. It's getting bigger, you know, for email marketing for us to be more profitable um, as, as people are seeing, as people are talking about it. Um, you know, COVID did a good thing for us. Uh, I hate to say it, we've got to look at some things more positive, but it created a new huge environment for us to make, you know, more money in this market than ever before. And, you know, you always want to put yourself in the position to win. And this is going to be one of those things to do it. And with this in your hands and with, with Wayne on your side uh, and the things that he's sharing you, uh, you guys are in a great position to, to really win this year in 2021. And I can't wait to watch you guys soar. I cannot wait. It's so I, I, I'm not making any money off this. I just let you know, I'm not, I'm here because I'm, I'm actually here and there, if, I love Wayne and I also want, I'm doing this because for my birthday, which was New Year's Eve, I decided that I wanted to raise some money for, for charity and to help kids all around the world. And that's also what's happening here. So it's not just helping you, but we're helping the other pe people, uh, kids all over the world that need our help. And I'm just, I, you guys have made it a great birthday, a great new year, started of a new year for me. Uh, Wayne, you've done that too. And I'm just very grateful for you to take the time to bring your people here uh, to help make my birthday the best birthday present I could actually ask for. That's what I wanted this year and you guys made it happen. So Wayne, you really made it happen. Thanks for doing that on my birthday. Um, yeah. And even now, I mean, we're, uh, but this is, this isn't about me. This is about all of you. Um, this is, this is just, you know, let's, we're doing good together, you know, but we're also doing good for our businesses and good for our lives. 
And um, I just, I'm grateful for everybody being here and um, thank you. Mate, that's awesome. And Matt, it's a, it's a privilege to have you on, mate. Uh, it really is. Um, I've followed you for years now, so to have you on live is absolutely fantastic. So guys, um, we're going to call it a day there. You need to grab it. You need to grab it because once we come off, that is gone, okay? The bonuses are gone. Um, again, we had bonus the other day, which when these, some of these will be gone as well. So you need to grab it right now. Um, and guys, um, I want you to thank Matt because he is awesome. Uh, you're going to absolutely love, I mean, all the comments I've been seeing um, from people who are going through it are amazed by it. So you need to grab it right now. Um, have a fantastic weekend, guys. Um, and we will speak to you soon. Get out there and grab it right now. Don't, don't let it pass you by. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.